Hi guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about lighting. I am using two studio lights, two LED tubular lights, and a ring light for my lighting source. All right, the ring light you can get off of Amazon. It's newer. Um, it's an 18 inch LED ring light. I think I want to pay. I paid probably around 139 a while ago for it. And probably cheaper now because it's been a couple years. Um, the studio lights are these two that's up here and then the tube lights are these right here the tube lights came from sam's club the studio lights i ordered from i want to say like backdrop outlet or something but that was probably 15 years ago so i'm not sure um if they still sell them or not but i'm sure you can find them and i replaced the bulbs that came with them with leds that are like 700 so that is a very, very bright bulb for an LED, um, but you can probably get something in the um, Home Depot or something with those type of domes around it, because I know I've seen them with clamps in the work area, and it'll probably do the same thing. All right, um, so here's what I want to show you, and this is just going to be a really quick video. I want you to keep an eye on the dollhouse and on the gems on the um, trays over there. The little teal gems because that's where you're gonna see the difference in the lighting okay I'm gonna turn off the ring light and then you can see the difference see how dark the dollhouse went and how the gems became less noticeable okay that's the ring light and all the other lights are on I'm gonna turn that off now I'm gonna turn off the studio lights And there's a big difference there. If you look to the back corner of the room, like in that workspace, it kind of filters in the lighting over there. See the table? And then how it bleeds through to the dollhouse. So now you're covering the right side of your workspace and the overhead is covered as well. So now I'm gonna undo the lights from the ceiling That's without the lights from the ceiling. That's the tube lights. And there they are again. It's a big difference. All right, now let's turn everything off but the little chandelier that is a regular house chandelier, okay? And here is the lighting that you would have in this room. Now, those chandelier bulbs are um, not very bright, but they are the brightest that they sell for that type of light. So there you have it. Now, no studio lights and just the newer light. This is just the ring light. It does give you a lot of light. It really does. But if you look at the dollhouse, you can no longer see the shingles on the dollhouse or the siding on the dollhouse like you could before because it gets washed out. It's too much light on that one space. It's not evened out. Okay, and now you can start to see the grid on the dollhouse from the different sidings. Okay, so just real quick and then we'll end this video. Okay, studio lights are on, overhead lights are on, and the ring light is on. Now, the ring light does have an adjuster on it, so you can turn it down and adjust it. So you can minimize that brightness. So technically, if you wanted to just get the ring light and use that as a backlight um, for your um, workspace, it would work. But you're going to play with have to play with the lighting on the dimmer part because it's just too, too... Um, bright just in one spot without the light going around it. All right, so now I'm gonna turn the studio lights off. That's with just the overhead and the ring light. Turn the ring light off and just have the overhead lights, which kind of doesn't really do a good job by itself. And now turn the overhead lights off and just turn the ring light on. Pretty bright. 
if you're working in one space and you wanted to adjust it down there you go you could kind of adjust it and get a little bit of that contrast back see how it's going up and down now let's just say we're working in this space and we want to get a video of this space that dollhouse is so washed out you can't really see a whole lot but without any other light on except for the chandelier which is just for decorative purposes you can adjust your lighting down but then you start to lose the quality of the light in the room you get too washed out when you're on top of it and some people think oh it's bright that's great well you know if you're there and you like that that's great but if you don't like washed out stuff like I don't then it doesn't work for you so you want to kind of be right on top of it I mean then you can kind of see with the skin tone watch my skin tone And there you have it so my recommendation is whatever lighting source that you decide that you're going to use make sure you go around the room with it like for instance I'll show you mine I have with them off actually so you're not blinded I have the studio lights in the back and going down at all of the workspace and they can tilt as well so I can adjust them whichever way I want then I have the tube lights right directly over top of each work area. There's the tables with those tools and stuff. And then above that is a light. So as you can see, the lighting is surrounded throughout the space. And then the newer light, I just place on whatever area I'm working on and adjust it accordingly. So, for instance, if I wanted to work with my tools, I could come over here and I could set it up to where I'm working with that. And then I could turn on the light above and the studio lights and it brightens it up tremendously. So now I have enough light on the space whenever I'm recording that I actually can see what I'm doing. And then for this light here, I also have an extra added light that allows me to use this. 